All right, in this video, I just want to do a couple examples about determining symmetry and using these definitions. So if f of negative x equals f of x, we say it's symmetric about the y-axis, or it's an even function. If f of negative x equals the negative of f of x, we say it's an odd function, and it's symmetric about the origin. So we've got a couple formulas here. We're just trying to figure out what type of symmetry, um, if any, these functions possess. So again, the idea is we just replace all the x's with negative x. So negative x to the fourth, uh, negative x squared, plus 5. Um, well, if you take a negative number and raise it to an even power, it's going to be positive. x to the fourth would still be x to the fourth. So this would just simplify to 3x to the fourth. Likewise, negative x times negative x is positive x squared. Positive 5 still just hanging out there. So notice we plugged in negative x. We got back the very original function we started with. So it says f of negative x does equal f of x. So in this case, we would say that this is what's called an even function. <clears throat> okay, so it's symmetric about the y-axis. Maybe one other one real quick. Suppose we have f of x equals x cubed minus x. Well, if we plug in negative x, we'll get negative x cubed minus negative x. Well, we can get rid of the parentheses. If you cube negative 1 three times, we'll get negative. We still have x cubed. Two negatives make a positive x. And notice we could factor the negative out. We would have x cubed minus x. But again, that's the negative of the very original function that we started with. That's the negative of f of x. So in this case, we would say, hey, this is an odd function. Okay, it has this symmetry about the origin. And usually I kind of stop, um, honestly, I stop at this step right here. If you look at the signs on the original, notice the original x cubed was positive and now it's negative. The original uh, next sign was a negative, now it's a positive. If all the signs flip-flop, that's again, I mean, you can basically do this step of factoring the negative out, but if you recognize that all the signs have uh, just switched, that's going to imply that it's an odd function.